The day began just like any other normal day. Start by making a hot cup of tea with care and precision. As soon as the water reaches boiling point, I add the water to the tea bag. I then give it a little stir and let it rest for several minutes. During this time, I like to play my favorite music and embrace the morning with some meditation. I then add a splash of milk and give it another little stir and let it rest for another minute or two, allowing the juices to flow and infuse from the delicious tea leaves. I then drain the tea bag and take my brew to a comfortable location where I like to relax and prepare myself for the day ahead. During this time where I enjoy my English breakfast tea, I also like to check on my YouTube channel to check for any updates throughout the night. And that's when I realized... What the f***? No. No. No! Okay, mate, calm down, calm down. I know that was a bit dramatic, but I was actually pretty gutted they decided to remove my channel. Especially because I had no clue what I'd done wrong. They said the, the content promotes spam, scams and other deceptive practices which isn't allowed on YouTube. Uh, I was clueless, so I appealed it and they come back with this message saying that they have reviewed the channel carefully and confirmed that it does violate the spam, deceptive practices and scams policy and won't be putting my channel back on YouTube. But again, they still hadn't specified what it was that I'd done wrong. So I took to Twitter uh, to see if I could get some help from um, someone on there. And the YouTube team got back to me quite quickly, to be fair. It might seem like no big deal to most people. Like, it's just a YouTube channel. You can always make another one. But it had all my content on it. Um, I didn't have it saved anywhere else. And I've been growing my channel for like almost a year now. And I just didn't want to lose it. So I pretty much begged them to help me. Um, during that time, I had these people that I didn't know um, sending messages asking me to try this link out. Alina12340. Uh, several people were suggesting that I click on this link to get help restoring my account. But... The day before, it was under a different name, so it just all seemed a bit suspicious to me, so I didn't bother clicking on that. I think it was a couple of days later that YouTube got back in touch to say they were pleased to let me know that um, my YouTube channel was not in violation of the terms of service, so they've lifted the suspension and the account is once again active and operational. They even sent a message confirming that there was a mistake on their side, um, and they were really sorry for what happened. So this was obviously amazing news because it meant I can keep making YouTube videos for you guys. I just had a week's holiday celebrating 10 years wedding anniversary with the missus, which was uh, very nice indeed. But uh, it's first day back in today and it's time to get back on the road again. So let's have it. Yeah, babe. Okay, everyone, we're all set up. Just done me checks and that. Um, feels strange being back in the wagon. Been off for like over a week, but uh, feels nice to be back in. Uh, just gonna take it easy. Got to get over to Liverpool within the next 45 minutes. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure where we're going from there. Don't forget, but come with us and I'll show you. Let's mooch. Let's mooch. Hi mate. Yeah, it should be one Foxtrot four. And 
Uh, yes, mate, I've got the app. Do you have it? Yes, mate. Uh, it's back there in parking street 548 and meet at the driver's lunch. Okay, mate. Parking 548 and meet at the driver's lunch. Have a good day. You too, thank you. Okay guys, we've just got here to Liverpool, uh, but my trailer's not ready yet, so we're gonna have to go and sit and wait in the driver's lounge. I've just gotta get my boots on. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. I don't know if you could hear that guy on the um, speakerphone when we were coming in. For some reason, we don't deal with humans face to face anymore. We deal with cameras and uh, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't work. I'm speaking to somebody in India um, who's letting me into a depot in Liverpool and the signal's always dreadful. So um, it was difficult to make out what he was saying, but we've parked up in 548. And yeah, we're gonna wait in the driver's room. So uh, come and join me. Let's mooch. Whoop. Thank you, mate. Cheers. We just got our keys back. Got to go to bay one three two, which is down there somewhere. days so we've had a 15 minute break I know it says 27 minutes but as soon as we start moving that's going to drop down to 15 minutes which is sound because then it means we only need to have half an hour at some point later on in the shift so uh happy days Clip on. Can we come up here? Put the airlines on. We've got to wind the legs up now.
last thing we do here. Look at this red button here. You press that. And that's the brake. And the trailer is ready to move forward now. So yeah, let's have it. Okay, so the uh, right hand <laughs> indicator light doesn't work. So I need to back it back onto the bay. And apparently they're gonna swap the load over onto another trailer, but it's obviously gonna take a while. It's gonna be a massive delay. I don't know if this job will get canceled or what, but just depends how long it takes for him to transfer everything over onto the other trailer. So I've got to drop this again now and go wait back in the driver's room. So just disconnected, about to drive away from the trailer. I'm gonna go and park up. Still waiting. All right, guys, so they've just given me the keys back. They've um, transferred all the goods over onto another trailer, um, but I am an hour and 30 minutes late leaving Liverpool, so it's obviously gonna have a knock-on effect for the rest of my shift, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna pick this up and head down towards uh, SNG1. Um, which is sort of like past Leicester way. Um, so yeah, let's go and get this trailer, see if we can make up for lost time. Thank you, Amazon. Okay, so we're finally out of here. We was meant to leave here at half six. It's now eight o'clock. We've got to go and fuel up. Um, there was another issue with this trailer, dodgy brake lights, but I've just replaced the bulb on it. Um, and it seems to be working fine now. I don't know what's going on. Amazon need to sort the trailers out, don't they? Yes, they do. They do, those, aren't they? Yes, they do. Don't they, dog? Right, let's fuel up. So yeah, while we're waiting for that to fill up there, um, we're just gonna have a look at our relay app and just see where exactly it is we're going, see if they've had to change any of the shift um, because of that delay. Um, let's check it out. Okay, we've got a green light. That means we're nice and full. See the pressure's full. Put that back on there. Nice and secure. Put that back in there. Lock it up. Good to go. Yeah. Let's get out of here. On the road again! Okay guys, so I've just passed Junction 17 heading south on the M6 and it's just come through on the radio that there's been an accident and there's two lanes closed. Um, 
unfortunately I'm coming off at junction 16 and I'm not seeing any signs of traffic yet so fingers crossed um, we'll be able to sail straight through uh, and come off at the next junction um, so yeah stay tuned Never gonna guess what's happened. Never in a million years you're gonna guess what's happened. I'll give you a clue though. It's not the first time that it's happened to me. It's actually happened to me in the last two videos that I've put out there. But uh, my iPhone's decided it's wanted to run out of storage. So I'm absolutely gutted. I've just had to delete a load of footage I've just recorded on the way down here. Um, to make enough space to record this outro for you guys uh, I just can only apologise I need to get myself a new phone I know I said that before but I think when you've got kids at home and bills to pay you just don't have yourself as a priority really um, I keep putting it off getting a new phone but I'm going to have to get one because I want to keep making these videos and it's not fair that they keep ending the same way with a iPhone out of storage symbol going off so that's it I'll get a new phone and uh, hopefully it won't be too long until the next video is out uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's been watching um, a massive thanks to all the subscribers I think I've got just under 500 subscribers now which is absolutely amazing like it's unbelievable like I, I don't even know that many people to be honest um, so it is like it's unreal that there's nearly 500 people subscribed to the channel so thank you um, as I say hopefully it won't be too long till the next video so just bear with us if you can uh, until then look after yourselves Take it easy.
Peace.